Good afternoon from Disney Springs. Disney Springs is divided into four different districts. The west side, the marketplace, town center, and the landing. And we've started doing tours of all four of those districts. We started out with the west side, and we'll link that video in the description down below. And today we have made it onto town center, which is this area over here. So let's get started. So if you guys remember back to the last video when we saw the movie theater and this fountain, we are now heading in this direction. And we're gonna kind of do some circles here. So we're gonna go in and down this side and then come back out this side and look at Planet Hollywood and everything. And then continue on in that direction. But the first store that we come to is the Coca-Cola store. The Coca-Cola store is a store devoted to all things Coca-Cola. If you're a big fan of Coca-Cola, you can definitely come in here and get all kinds of t-shirts, hats, souvenirs, and cups. You can also buy Coca-Cola here in the cooler when you're checking out, along with all of the different Coca-Cola merchandise. Have some fun theming, like these bubble lights here, or bubble, I don't know, bubble features? The art, where it looks like the fizz on the top of a Coca-Cola. The other unique thing about the Coca-Cola store is you can meet the Coke polar bear, and they also have a bar up on the roof. So let's go check out where the polar bear is and where the bar is. Just to give you guys an idea of where we're headed, this is the front entrance overlooking the entire store. And then off to the right over here is a ramp to the upper floors. Heading down this industrial hallway with some glass artwork on the side. It's funny because they have different parts of the Coke here. Like this is the glass bottle. And then when we turn the corner, we head to liquid which is the inside, the actual Coca-Cola. Then we continue our way up. We've made it up to floor two. And in here you can meet the Coca-Cola polar bear. There's also more Coca-Cola merchandise available. There it is, that's where the Coca-Cola polar bear is. We met him one time, we'll put that video in the description down below. But this floor seems to be a lot of Coca-Cola bear merchandise and just more general housewares as far as Coke themed items. You can get a, a Coke themed thermometer. I really am surprised every time that I come in here how packed it is. Because I didn't think that there was this much of a market for Coca-Cola merchandise. But I guess there is. So from floor two, we continue our way up to the rooftop where we will find a bar. And as we continue up the hallway, you are getting towards the top of the Coca-Cola to where they're featuring fizz. And of course, to top it all off, some ice cubes. This is an overview of the rooftop bar here at the Coca-Cola store. It's got a nice view too. We can have a look at Planet Hollywood and the rest of Town Center. I wanted to kind of give you guys an overview of what they have on the menu here. There are a lot of different drinks available for sure. And then they have some specialty mixed drinks like cocktails and different flights and mocktails and a drink of the month. The music up here is extremely loud. And I don't know why, but it is. Now that it's a little bit quiet in between songs, here's an overview of the rooftop bar at the Coca-Cola store. It's actually so loud up here that when we did a video of the Coke bar first opening, we had to do it without saying anything. So it's actually a pretty funny video. And we'll put a link to that in the description down below. So that was a quick overview of the Coca-Cola store. And now we are turning to our left and making our way further into town center. And the next building that we come to is actually the restrooms. And you'll notice there's a sign up here that says fire department. That is because Disney Springs has a backstory of being an old town that had a bottling plant in it, a Springs, a orange packing district. So you'll see a lot of things that kind of look like an old town and this is just another little detail as far as the theming goes. Right next to the bathroom is Wolfgang Puck's Bar and Grill. And we've done an entire video on just this restaurant because it is delicious and we highly recommend it. Also attached to Wolfgang Puck's Bar and Grill is a gelato bar, which we've never eaten at. So let's have a look at the menu. It, I mean, it sounds good. Gelato is delicious. Definitely have to give it a try one day. Oh, they have milkshakes and frozen cocktails. Whoa. From Wolfgang Puck's Bar and Grill, we're headed into this main building, which is called the Market Building, and it has a date of 1913 on the top of it. And this is actually a very nice spot to escape from the rain and the elements and still get some shopping done. Hop in and out of air conditioning. They've got pop-up bars where you can get beers and cocktails and sodas. 
But the first store that we're coming to on the right here is the Columbia Sportswear Company. And Columbia sells various kinds of outdoor wear. Oh, I like this shirt. This is fun. I do like wearing Columbia shirts to the parks because they're made for the sun and the heat. I do like to go to the outlets to get them though because it's a little bit cheaper. Oh, they do have a clearance section though. So these shirts have UPF protection, so it doesn't let all of the uh, ultraviolet light in. Kind of wonder. Oh, okay, twenty-eight ninety-six for one of these shirts. I actually have. Well, I don't have this one with this many pockets, but I do have a shirt very similar to this, and it works very good. It's got these vents in the back, like cool air in, and it's a moisture-wicking fabric, so it keeps you cool in the summer. After you've gotten your fix of sportswear. And head next door to one of our other favorite stores, Sugar Boo. It's very interesting. It is a lot of home decor. You can get different paintings like an elephant saying, for my darling, while holding some flowers. A driftwood seahorse. Different hanging frames. Lots of different things to decorate your house with. And this is also where we got these Jelly Cat plushies that are very soft. They have a lot of them. So if you guys are ever looking for Jelly Cat plushies, because we have heard from you guys that they are very popular, this is where you can get them. They have some leather goods and bags and luggage tags with fun phrases on them and jewelry. Everything in here kind of has a bohemian feel to it. You get some zinc letters. We actually have this sign over top of our door leading out to the garage. It really is an interesting assortment of stores. So right next to Sugar Boo & Co, we've got everything but water, which is a bathing suit store. I think it's mostly bikinis and one pieces. I don't know if they have any like board shorts or anything in here. Let's have a look inside. I don't think they do. They have cover-ups and various bags, kind of like everything that you would need to go to the beach or have a fun day at the pool. Like the name says, everything but the water. Just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the entire store. And I talked to some of the ladies that work here and they said that they used to have men's stuff when they first opened. Not anymore. Now it's just ladies stuff. Once you have your bathing suit, then of course you need to have a bag so you can head right next door to Vera Bradley. I just noticed there's a little hidden Mickey right there. I feel like Vera Bradley is a big enough name brand that a lot of people know who Vera Bradley is or what Vera Bradley is. But here's an overview of the store. Or it looks like they will also embroider your bag for you back here. So you could have a bag that says, Happy Day, with all the Disney characters on it. I didn't realize that they made these bags with the Disney characters on them. This little one's $45. Oh my, this is a $50 umbrella. Oh no, oh, oh, oh dear. I feel like we're planning out a trip to the beach because right next to Vera Bradley is Sperry. You can get some Sperry Top Siders. Some boat shoes. Basically anything Sperry that you can imagine. Shoes, bags, mostly shoes, a few t-shirts, flip-flops, socks, care for your shoes, but mostly shoes. This is actually a pretty unique thing. They're called sea bags and they're made from recycled sailboat sails. It's an interesting feeling bag. This, is this, this one also? This one's very soft and nice, but this one's hard. And this one's even harder. It's a very interesting thing. And then I've got a whole day planned out for us. After our day on the boat from our trip to the beach, we then need to go out on the town. So we head to Lily Pulitzer. So Lily Pulitzer is kind of known for their bright colors and funky designs. And this is an overview of the store. It's a very tropical feeling store. I believe that they only sell dresses and halter tops. Just looking up at the ceiling here, and there's a thing that says it all started with a juice stand. And I thought that that was interesting, so I looked it up. Apparently, Lily Pulitzer, uh, who is related to the person who the Pulitzer Prize is named after, came to Florida and started a juice stand and found out that making juice was messy business, and she kept getting juice stains on all of her dresses. So instead of wearing an apron, she decided to make brightly colored dresses that repelled juice and thus started the dress line of Lily Pulitzer. Everybody that came to buy juice from her juice stand was marveling at her dresses and asked if they could buy them, so she started making dresses. So once we reached Lily Pulitzer, we actually have reached the end of this overhang here. So rather than continuing down here, I wanted to turn around and head back and show off the stores on this side and Chicken Guy and Planet Hollywood and then come back over here and continue the tour of 
town center in that direction. So first off is Ugg. So the only thing that I know Ugg for is their boots, but apparently they have all kinds of other stuff. Jackets, and bags, various clothes, and of course the famous Ugg boots. They have all kinds of different shoes and waist packs, backpacks. They even have robes, which look very comfortable. This one says bride on it. They're very soft. Look at these fuzzy slippers. Wow, everything's so fun in here. Everything in here sort of reminds me of wintertime apparel. I did see one pair of flip-flops, but they had uh, fluffy straps on them. So it seems like, oh no, here's a pair of flip-flops right here. Okay, so you can get summertime apparel in here, or summertime flip-flops at least, but you can also get uh, some wintertime stuff because this seems very warm for Florida. I don't know what our theme's gonna be for this side of town center, but next to Ugg is American Threads. I don't know what American Threads, it seems like blue jeans and stuff like that, rock shirts. Let's have a look inside and see what it is. I don't really know how to describe it other than blue jeans and rock shirts. Got a Rolling Stones shirt here, Pink Floyd. Another Pink Floyd one. Not as many colors in this store. Everything seems kind of like gray and blue and white. Not seeing a lot of like super bright colors. I also have a wall of jewelry here. I sell stuff that like this necklace that says, hello. Still not really sure what the theme of this store is, but you can get a Mr. Benz or Shelly. Uh, I think these are just keychains. Kind of fun though. From American Threads, continuing our tour, we're headed over to Lucky Brand. I believe that we can call Lucky Brand a jean store. They sell a lot of denim in here. So here's a quick overview of Lucky Brand. I like this motorcycle that they have blown apart in the middle of the store. Lots of t-shirts, flannel, and jeans. I think that's the best way we could describe Lucky Brand. Don't really understand this shirt of just raccoons and skunks, but I kind of like it. Lots and lots of t-shirts over here. And these are old rock t-shirts like this Queen one or this Woodstock one. A lot of Fender stuff, a Guinness shirt. Oh no, Coca-Cola shirt. We already saw it. They probably sell that at the Coca-Cola store. I do have to admit, I like the style of Lucky Brand. It's just, it's so darn hot in Florida. I don't think that I could wear it very often. I just can't wear jeans all the time. Another thing I did want to point out is a lot of these stores have places where you can pay with your Magic Band. So if you're staying on property and you have linked a credit card to your Magic Band when you're staying on property, I have to stress that it's only when you're staying on property because I have Magic Bands and I can't charge to them, you can charge from different stores in Disney Springs. Still not really feeling a theme on this side of Town Center, but up next, Johnson & Murphy. So I think Johnson & Murphy started out as maybe like a shoe company because they do have a display in here with different stitchings of shoes and the different stages of making a shoe. And then they have a shoe soling machine, I believe. Not 100% sure. But they sell all kinds of other things here too, like belts, puffy vests, suit coats, sport coats, I should say, jackets, and of course, shoes. Lots and lots of different kinds of shoes. Oh, presidential footwear. Are these the shoes that presidents wear? That is definitely interesting. It says that they've been shoeing presidents for a long time, all the way up to Obama. So wow, look at that. After Johnson and Murphy, turning to our left, we've got Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama is like a high-end resort wear brand. This is also one of the only stores that I've ever been into in Disney Springs that has a sunroof or a skylight. Look at that. But here is an overview of Tommy Bahama. And of course, they do have some Mickey Mouse shirts. Now, just as a little bit of a warning, these shirts are very expensive. I don't even see the price on it. I'm guessing $150. Let me look. I was close. $130 for this button-up shirt. But did want to give you guys a look around the store. Very tropical. I feel like Tommy Bahama and Lily Pulitzer go together. Well, they have everything here. You can get luggage, 
cologne, Hawaiian shirts, shoes, hats, sunglasses, a lot of different stuff here. Oh, housewares. And the store is separated out into two different sections. This is the men's fashion section, and then over here is the ladies' fashion section. Tommy Bahama also has a ladies' version of the Mickey Mouse stuff, but of course it has Minnie Mouse on it. And this dress is $99.50. Now that we've made it through Tommy Bahama, I wanted to kind of give you guys a wayfinding point of reference. Started at the Coke store and we went all the way down this side until we made it to Lily Pulitzer down there. And then we crossed over and went back up to here when we went to the Tommy Bahama store. And we've got a few more things to see as we continue out in this direction over towards Chicken Guy. And welcome to Flavor Town. This is Chicken Guy. This is a Guy Fieri restaurant based around fried chicken. And it's actually very, very delicious. We have a whole video of our experience here and how good it was. I liked everything about this restaurant. The price, the taste, the food, it was good. And we'll put a link to that video in the description down below. Here's a quick overview of the inside of Chicken Guy. So you come in, you order your food, and then you bring your tracker back to the table, and they bring you your food. It's a nice quick restaurant. They have a whole bunch of sauces. Welcome to Flavor Town. And continuing with the Guy Fieri theme from Chicken Guy, turn to our left to see Planet Hollywood, which actually has an entire menu that was planned out with the help of Guy Fieri. But first, you know what? We'll go into Planet Hollywood first, then we'll come back out and see the store. Then we'll go around the other side to Stargazers, which is their outdoor lounge. We are now inside of Planet Hollywood. We're heading up to have a look around. They have lots of props from Hollywood movies, like Superman's outfit and Chewbacca. Well, this is pretty neat. Never seen this before. Look at that. Wow, what a very interesting way to show off what is inside of the case. It's like magic. Also, there's an R2 here. So I came in and asked if I could look around and they told me that I can only go over here to the bar. So here's just a quick overview of what it looks like inside of Planet Hollywood. The entire inside is a gigantic screen. And then up on the other floors, all kinds of other memorabilia. Like take for instance, Marty McFly's outfit from Back to the Future 2, where he's dressed up like a cowboy. Now, admittedly, I have eaten here before, and I didn't really like it. We'll have to come back and give it another try, but it wasn't really for me when we came here the first time. So we just came from in there. There is a small Planet Hollywood store here. We can get different Planet Hollywood merchandise but this is not the only Planet Hollywood store. So hopefully that didn't make it too confusing. I just wanted to show you guys Planet Hollywood first before going into the Planet Hollywood gift shop, which is right next to Chicken Guy. So now we're going into the store. Lots and lots of Planet Hollywood merchandise, and there is some memorabilia in here too, like a Wheel of Fortune panel from when you spin the wheel and you get a surprise, but mostly just Planet Hollywood merchandise. They do have a gigantic mannequin of Arnold from Terminator. Holy cow. He's got some intense leather pants on, a lot of leather. So we're back where we started at the Coca-Cola store, looking at the main entrance of Planet Hollywood. And we've got one more thing that's kind of out of the way and around the corner from Planet Hollywood. And that is the Stargazer's Lounge. And just past this palm tree is the main entrance to Planet Hollywood, which is where we sort of started. We were looking at the main entrance kind of that way. And we are turning to our left, coming to Stargazer's Lounge, which is not open right now, but will be opening later. And this bar outside actually has one of the best deals that I've ever come across at Disney Springs for drinks, because you can get a beer flight for cheaper than you can get a whole beer. Does that make sense? So you get four samples of beer that equal out to a little bit more than one full-size beer, and it costs less than one full-size beer. So here we are back at the Coca-Cola store. For right now, we're gonna head back this way through the market building, past UGG, and start back in on our tour of the different stores around this section of Disney Springs. Just for a little bit of wayfinding, I just wanted to tell you guys that we are back underneath the overhang, underneath this building area, though I said it was a nice place to escape the rain or the heat. 
just passing Ugg, and now we're headed out in this direction, and we're gonna start on this side. So actually right next to Lily Pulitzer is a store called Free People. Here's a quick overview of what it's like inside of Free People. I don't know how to describe Free People. You got some Janis Joplin shirts, you got jeans, you got lacy things. Kind of like a boho, would that be considered a style? I feel like this is stuff that people would wear to Coachella. Yeah? Maybe like the beach, but it's a lot of jeans. I don't know. I'm gonna go with stuff that people wear to Coachella. Oh, free people ruining my skylight theory. I feel like we hit a higher level of designer fashion out in this section. Now we're heading into Johnny Was. I've never been in this store. I don't even know what it's all about. So here's a quick overview of Johnny Was. Feels kind of similar to what we were seeing next door at Free People. Also, they've got skylights in here too. So next to Johnny Was, Kate Spade. Just a quick overview of Kate Spade. If you guys know the name Kate Spade, they're pretty famous for their bags. So we got lots and lots of different Kate Spade bags. But it seems like they've got a few other things, like maybe some jewelry and various clothing items. They also have some Disney-themed Kate Spade bags. Got a backpack up here too. I think this, you can get the polka dots that match with the little purse here. Or you can go all out and wear the backpack and the purse. Oh, they have lots of Minnie Mouse stuff. Got a phone case, got a little, I don't know what that is, maybe like a clutch? A little teeny tiny purse bag or coin purse. Oh, and they have jewelry and stuff too. Some earrings, some necklaces, some rings, bracelets. Is that like a black pearl one? Next to Kate Spade is a little hallway, like an alleyway, that leads to some bathrooms and actually the bus stop for Disney Springs. Right next to that is Origins. I don't know what Origins is. Oh, it's like skincare. Fancy. Oh yeah. Skincare with all natural oils too. It smells like uh, soap in here. Very nice, but here is an overview of Origins. Oh, and they have a sink so you can try stuff out. So I asked, and Origins is described as all plant-based body and skin care. So that's a good thing. It seems very much like it's good for the environment. And good for you too, all natural. From Origins, right next door, we've got MAC, MAC Cosmetics. So if you guys know makeup, you guys have probably heard of MAC before. It's a kind of a small store though here in Disney Springs. This is about the entirety of the store. And they will do makeovers for you here too. The neighbor to MAC Cosmetic is the Coach. That's the Coach store. This used to be Vinnie Camuto's, but now it is a Coach store, or Vincent Camuto. I like calling him Vinnie Camuto though. Let's have a look and see what they've got in the Coach store. The first thing that we come across is the Disney and Coach collection. And they told me that this specific collection is only available here at this Disney Springs store. So you will not find this coach bag anywhere else unless somebody bought it here from the Disney Springs store. And look at this jacket too. I love this. And they just came out with 101 Dalmatians and Thumper and Dumbo. Just wanted to give you guys an overview of the rest of the Coach store. They told me a lot of information about all of the Disney and Coach collaboration because they're kind of excited about it here in this store. So we have heard a lot about these designer ears and Coach has some designer ears coming out in September that are gonna be around $300 but they're gonna be all leather Coach branded ears. Well, they were super nice inside of Coach. I really enjoyed my visit to that store. Right next to Coach is a little hallway that leads out to the bus depot for Disney Springs. And right next to that is Luxury of Time from Diamonds International. Uh, I don't know if they'll let me film in here, but we're gonna give it a try. So I went inside and I looked around and as soon as I saw Rolexes, I was like, I bet you they won't allow me to film in there. So. Here's a quick overview of the store from outside. So this is a collaboration with Nikki Jam. 
So I'm assuming that maybe Nikki Jam signed this. But right next door is Lacoste. They got the alligator shirts. Let's go inside and have a look. Here's a quick look around Lacoste. Lots and lots of sportswear. And of course, their famous polo shirts in all different colors in the back. Doing great, how are you? There he is, the little alligator on the shirt. Lots and lots of different colors. This is tennis wear, right? Oh, they got kid stuff too. I like this, the little 8-bit alligators up top. Yeah, this was started as a tennis brand. They've got a lot of little tennis rackets around. So I'm assuming that it is a tennis brand. From Lacoste, head over to Sephora, which we have been in many, many times. But we'll have another look inside real quick. So I feel like Sephora is like a makeup and skincare mega store. So you can do hair care too. They've got everything. Maybe like a beauty, a beauty mega store. Anything that you can imagine for skincare, makeup, and even fragrances. So like hair and makeup and fragrances and skincare. Lots of different things. Sephora is actually such a big store that the next store over is a bit of a ways away. And that's Shore. And I think that my favorite thing is they have out front here, it says Shore, life on vacation. That definitely describes this store to a T. Life on vacation. It's also very loud in here. Right when I stopped recording, it got quiet. So they've got a men's section and a ladies section. A lot of beach wear. Flip-flops, sunglasses, board shorts, kind of like Hawaiian button-up type shirts. Lots and lots of beach wear. They even have jewelry in here and sunscreen. This is our favorite kind of sunscreen right here. We think that it works the best. A lot of people have told us that it doesn't work as well as some of the sunscreen they wear, but it works good for us. I like the store, it's very nice in here. Now after you get done at the beach on vacation, you need to get some socks for some reason. But the next door is Stance, which is a store mostly devoted to socks and all kinds of different socks. Lots and lots and lots and lots of socks. And they even have some Disney socks, like this one with Pluto and Mickey Mouse. The neighbor to Stance, I feel like you guys from the UK will recognize, and that's Super Dry. Here's an overview of the Super Dry store. Seems like it's devoted into two different sections. We've got women's over here and men's over here. Lots and lots of different, I don't know, articles of clothing. How would you guys describe Super Dry? Is it sportswear? Is it winter wear? What is it? Is it just a fashion store? Get some shorts, some button downs, or some puffy jackets. I do have to admit that one of my favorite jackets that I own, I own a leather jacket from Super Dry from when we were over in the UK, and it's one of my favorite jackets of all time. Super comfortable, super warm, but I don't know how to describe it. This is nice. I like this. It's a ladies jacket, but I like it. I do have to admit though, I don't know if I were from somewhere where Super Dry is a very common store, if I would go shopping at it here in Disney Springs. We're continuing our way this direction and we are almost to the end of this run. And then we're gonna come back this way, but we have to make it out to Amaretz first. Next to Super Dry, which is not anything right now, will be a Ron John surf shop. But like you guys can see, there is nothing here at the moment. There's a sign though that says Ron John Surf Shop coming soon. And once Ron John Surf Shop opens, it will be right next to the Lime Garage. And right next to that is the Polite Pig, a barbecue restaurant. So here's a look at the inside of the Polite Pig. And I wanted to give you guys a look at the menu here. Lots and lots of delicious barbecue. This town center section of Disney Springs is gigantic. So right next to Polite Pig is a Harley Davidson motorcycle store. There used to be a much larger Harley Davidson motorcycle store, but now they just have this little one. No motorcycles for sale, just one to take a picture on, but all kinds of different Harley Davidson merchandise. Here's a quick overview of everything that's available in the store. Lots and lots of Harley Davidson merchandise. T-shirts, gloves, backpacks, hats. And then of course they have the Easy Rider motorcycle back here for a photo op. But you can get a leather jacket back here too. Anything you can imagine that's Harley Davidson branded, you can get here. Maybe not anything you can imagine, but definitely a lot of stuff. There it is, the motorcycle, well, a motorcycle that looks like the motorcycle from Easy Rider. They have biker baby clothes and biker outfits for dogs too. Oh man, you can get a tiny leather jacket. 
Everybody needs a tiny, it's not real leather though, but everybody needs a tiny leather jacket. In the front of the store, they have a heritage soft tail that you can take a picture on too. And what goes better with motorcycles than surfboards? So we're heading over to the Volcom store, which is a surf shop. Sell lots and lots of different surf attire inside of Volcom. T-shirts, shorts, board shorts, bags, hats, flip-flops. They have a random guitar in here. Somebody can come in here and jam out on the guitar. I do like this. It's a guitar made out of an old skateboard. They also sell GoPros here as well. You guys remember when this used to be called Volcom Stone? I wonder why they dropped the stone name. Next to them is Levi's. As you can imagine, everything in here is based around Levi's and denim. Lots and lots of different Levi's and denim things to buy. But here's an overview. Whoa, look at this Lion King one. This is awesome. Wow, what does it have on the front? Oh, look at that. It's got a bunch of different Lion King ones. How much fun, except for the Scar one. It looks like they make them here. So they have a tailor shop and you can pick out different customizations or they can make special ones. So you can see here, the item, the actual jacket was $98. And then they added in the customization for 102 for a total of $200. As I was looking around the Levi's store, I noticed these guys. What the heck are these? And why are they everywhere? But only in the kids section. Is this something specific to Levi's? They're my favorite though. From Levi's, we enter the world of excitement and wonder of Amaretz Patasserie, the best dessert place in all of Disney Springs. Holy cow, I cannot express how much I love this store. It is expensive, but the desserts in here are so darn delicious and they look beautiful too. I can't express how much this place is so good. I wanted to give you guys a look at the menu. We can get wine slushies. And right now, they have a special Lion King cake. This is the petite cake. Oh man. I want you guys, if you come to Disney Springs, definitely go to Amaretz. So across the way from Amaretz is World of Disney and the Daily Poutine. And these are actually part of another district of Disney Springs. So we will not be visiting those today. Oh, and it started raining too, so. Yay! Just to give you guys some wayfinding, we went into Levi's and we went to Amaretz, but back here at Volcom, if we turn and look across the way, we've got Uniqlo, and I love Uniqlo. They have some of the best shirts for very, very inexpensive. Look, look. these right here are only $14.90. They're called the Pixar Vacation Series. Let me see if I can find one that I've got. I have the Buzz Lightyear one. Where is it? Where is it? I'm not seeing it. Maybe they don't, oh there it is right there. This one right here is one of the shirts that I have. And actually the shirt that I'm wearing right now is from Uniqlo. So lots and lots of different options as far as Disney shirts go. Uniqlo sells so many different things. Just gonna kinda give you guys an overview of what's in this store and show you guys a few of the inexpensive Disney shirts that they have available. I feel like some people were asking me about this shirt at one point. This one's $14.90 here. And if you guys kind of pay attention to it, oh look, here's the shirt that I'm wearing right now. There it is. And if you guys kind of follow along, there might be a time, right now these are all $14.90, but sometimes they go down to $9.90 on sale. They have a lot of Lion King stuff right now. Remember who you are, Simba. And then they also have an upstairs section. So let's head upstairs and have a look around up there. This is one heck of a massive store. Lots and lots of different things. You even have a kids section over here. You can basically guarantee anything that you have in mind as far as a t-shirt, jeans, shorts, workout attire, underwear, baby clothes, kids clothes, anything that you can imagine, they sell a version of it here. They even sell puffy jackets. This is a kid's version, but they do have the adult version downstairs. So Uniqlo is actually this entire building right here, all the way down 
to the corner over here. And then we come to a bit of a crossroads from Uniqlo. We're gonna turn and head in this direction because there are a few shops down here that are still part of the town center district of Disney Springs. So down this alleyway from Uniqlo, there's some restrooms over here. And then we come up on Nahoku, Hawaii's finest jeweler since 1924. Let's we'll see if we can peek inside through the window, see what kind of jewelry they offer. This is very nice. Seems like it's a nautical themed jewelry store. At least this collection of jewelry is nautical themed. Look at that thing. Holy cow. Lots and lots of fancy rings. This is nice jewelry. I like it. So I went inside and talked to them and they said that 80% of the jewelry inside of there is made in the Hawaiian Highlands. So here's a quick look, quick overview of what the store looks like on the inside. Sorry, as with other jewelry stores, I just didn't feel comfortable going inside and filming. I feel like this is double glass. Cause I, like, I can't get rid of the, the glare on it. I have a lot of pearl stuff too. Once you get your Hawaiian jewelry, you gotta get some cool sunglasses to go along with it. Head over to Edward Biner, purveyor of fine eyewear. Lots and lots of different styles of glasses and sunglasses available here. And then once you have your cool sunglasses, you have to head over to Pandora and get some fancy jewelry. So I'm sure you guys are familiar with the Pandora name because they do do a lot with Disney. The jewelry with the charms on it. And they have Disney stuff specific to Pandora. Look at these dresses for all the different Disney princesses. Huh. Oh yeah, look, Disney and Pandora. That's some Mickey Mouse stuff. How neat is that? Here is an overview of the Pandora store. Pretty much anything you can imagine Pandora they have here. So you got your sunglasses, you got your Pandora, now it's time for cupcakes. This is Sprinkles, they actually have an ATM cupcake where you can touch the screen, pick what cupcake you want, and then pay for it, and then you, they deliver it right to this box right here. All kinds of different cupcakes. Let's go inside and have a look and see what else they have. Ooh, so many different cupcakes. Oh, they have a s'mores cupcake? Wow, I kind of want cupcakes right now, or at least a chocolate chip cookie. Those look pretty darn good too. Just wanted to show you guys the different menu items here. I kind of like this idea of a cupcake sandwich with ice cream in the middle, or a cookie sandwich. And they have all of these different shakes and sundaes available, and ice cream and cupcakes. Here's the different prices for the cupcakes. $53 for a dozen, or about $5 a piece. Sprinkles also has an outdoor seating area. And one of the things that I was telling you guys about before is how there's a backstory to Disney Springs. So you can see Sunshine State Ice Works. And they have, uh, I don't know what this is, maybe a pump or something. They would pump water out of the springs to make ice or to bottle it. Made with pure spring water, the best ice in all of Florida. It's a fake company. Background story. Now that we've made it to Sprinkles, We've made it to the end of the town center section in this direction. There's still more shops to see in this section, but once we make it to a bridge, that leads us into another district of Disney Springs. So I wanna head back to Uniqlo so that I can give you guys a central point to start from, and we'll kinda of go around this building cluster here. Back at Uniqlo, and just to give you guys some wayfinding points, there's Polite Pig, there's the entrance to the Lime Garage, this is where Ron John Surf Shop is going to go. Super Dry is back there. And now we are looking at Under Armour. And right down there is the alleyway that we went to get to Sprinkles. So let's head inside Under Armour and see what they have in here. Oh, they have a giant Under Armour torso. Also, the rent is due. I don't understand why, but apparently it has something to do with the rock. This is another one of those multi-level stores. They have an upstairs and everything in here is all just workout gear. Under Armour is a workout brand, and you can get anything that you can imagine to wear to work out in, or maybe to play golf in. Let's have a look upstairs. Up on the second floor, they have a customizing station, and then various other, you know, sports-related things. Shoes, shirts, stuff for kids. Pretty much anything you can imagine or need for working out, like we said downstairs. They also have a gigantic 
Incredible Hulk up here wearing an Under Armour shirt. Do you think they had to make that shirt special for this or do you think they had that size already? Well, it looks like they ripped it just a little bit. From the Under Armour store, we are actually headed back in the direction from where we started, which was the Coke store, but we're on this side. So here's the Super Dry store and here's Stance and we're gonna be on this side of the row of stores. Under Armour looks big from the outside, but on the inside, it didn't seem very big. And right next to them is Toomey, which is like a, uh, I would call it maybe like a high-end luggage store. Lots of different luggage and bags and backpacks and all kinds of other stuff. Definitely a lot of travel accessories. So you could go to Toomey and get some luggage to go on like a far off adventure and then uh, skincare? Yeah. I have a Harley Davidson in here, but this is Kiehl's. It's a skincare place, all natural. They told me that this is the third oldest company in the US and you can still visit the original location in the East Village of New York on 3rd and 13th. All naturally derived natural ingredients, skincare. All geared towards sensitive skin and they like motorcycles. I really do enjoy talking to the employees in the stores because they told me all kinds of really interesting information about the history of Kiehl's and right next to Kiehl's, Uno de 50. I don't, this is, I believe, a jewelry store? Kind of looks like they sell mostly silver in here. It's very nice. Lots and lots of silver jewelry. It was just very loud in there, so I wanted to come outside and give you guys another view of some of the jewelry that they have in there. It's not all silver, or it is, it's gold-plated silver. So everything in there is silver, and it sort of has like a handmade look to it. Like you can kind of see on this piece right here how it almost looks like it's hand hammered. There are a few stores that I always go into every time I come to Disney Springs and Ever After is definitely one of them. I would call this a Disney themed jewelry and handbag store. You can get all kinds of different jewelry in here and you can get all kinds of different handbags. All themed after Disney. Like you can get your Pandora charms in here, even though there's a Pandora store right up the way. Or say you could get know, this Mickey Mouse bracelet here. It looks like it's got some crystals. And of course, lots and lots of Dooney and Burke and Loungefly bags. Oh, they do sell ears here too. Some Haunted Mansion ears to go with the Haunted Mansion Loungefly bags. We saw these the other day at Memento Mori at Magic Kingdom. Inside Happily Ever After, they have the Alex and Ani designer ears, and these are $178, and they are made by Alex and Ani, and these are metal ears. That is not happy. Oh yeah, they're very light. Yeah. And these are 18 karat gold plated. Oh, and they have like a little tine so they can go in your hair so they don't move around. This is nice, you said they're handmade? Wow. We have a new set of bags here too, backpacks from Petunia Picklebottom. Never seen that brand before, but here they are. Oh, this is nice. It's like a little organizational thing. Oh, are these diaper bags? Is that what these are? I need to look further into this. I believe that these are diaper bags. How about that? Oh yeah, this is like an insulated pocket and everything. These are nice. I was literally just looking at one online that has this built-in changing mat. How about that? Basically, any designer item that you can think of from Disney is available at Happily Ever After. And then right next to that is Anthropology, which is kind of hard to see the entrance to, but it's over there. Here it is, Anthropology. This is, I don't even know how to describe, all of these stores I have no idea how to describe. So I'm just going to show them to you. Oh, yeah, it smells so good in here. What, how would you describe this store? Bohemian again? Boho? It seems like there's something for everybody in here. There are a lot of different options as far as clothing. They said that this is one of the only stores that carries A+, which is their plus size line. And they also have home decor and jewelry. Got a section of bags here, some headwear, candles, bedding, 
home goods like you could come in here and get plates and cups and coffee mugs nice aprons or tea towels and then there's an upstairs so we're gonna head upstairs right now i feel like i don't remember there being an upstairs to the store the last time that i was in here but we're heading upstairs now i like this mirror oh i think it's for sale too it's only fifty eight hundred dollars wow that's uh okay let's go this way oh okay they've got home goods up here you could have a nice tent looks like kids things Ooh. A little hippopotamus. Oh, this is what we need. We were looking at this. I think it was kind of expensive, but kind of wanted. It's very nice. The rest of the items up here are mostly just clothing items. Lots of different options in this store, though. This section of Disney Springs feels so massive. So we've made it to the end of the building over here. And just to give you guys some wayfinding, Lacoste is there. Sephora is right over here. The Luxury of Time coach. And we're gonna head around the side of this building to kind of go back behind it and meet back up with sprinkles. So if you can kind of imagine, we went into anthropology over there. This is the A plus section. We're kind of going around the back of the building, coming up to Melissa. Melissa is a shoe company that makes scented shoes, make jelly shoes, and they smell amazing, which is kind of silly that they make shoes that smell delicious, but they do, and they're fun. And I didn't realize that they sell Disney-themed shoes, too. But here is an overview of the entire store. Lots of different shoes available. All jelly shoes. Look at this. Oh, they sell, like, Velcro jelly shoes. How much fun is that? Next to Melissa, there's this hallway, and there's a sign that says Disney Vacation Club. And I think that that elevator leads up to something that is available to Disney Vacation Club members, but I'm not a Disney Vacation Club member, so I don't think I can go up there. Never tried though. If you're not a Disney Vacation Club member, you would continue on to Alex and Ani. And we just saw the Alex and Ani ears, but this is an entire store devoted to Alex and Ani. I wonder if they, oh, it smells good in here. I wonder if they sell the ears here too. Lots of different jewelry. They're like a bangle company. They sell bangles. Lots of different, oh, and they have Disney themed bangles too. Well, lots of them. I like these. Those are really fun. Oh, and if you get those ears, you can get the bracelet that matches them. And Alex and Ani is right next door to Francesca's which is a boutique style store, because I think that these are not necessarily like special clothes, but they are boutique. So they go out and they shop them and have these stores specially stocked here. But here is an overview of what the type of clothes that they sell at Francesca's are. They sell lots of different stuff too, not necessarily just clothes. They also sell sunglasses and accessories. I do know that Jen likes to get sunglasses here. They have a lot of different models. I haven't seen two for $20. That's pretty good. A lot of different frame options. And Francesca's neighbor is Kipling. Kipling makes bags, backpacks, different types of bags. And each one of them always has one of these little dongles on it, like a monkey or any sort of other poof ball. See, like this, hello. A lot of really fun and colorful bags in here. They also have a Disney collection, which they're in the backpack here. Lots and lots of different Disney themed bags and backpacks from Kipling. I like this one. This one's pretty fun. They sell some really big bags too. Good for traveling. Oh, this one's Mary Poppins. And Star Wars. And then Alice in Wonderland. Oh, this one's Aladdin. Wow. From Kipling, we come to... Oh no. I have to remember how to say this. Is it L'Occitane? L'Occitan? I think it's L'Occitan. L'Occitane. I don't know. Let's go inside and have a look around. This is the soap that they had at the Four Seasons when we stayed at the Four Seasons. So, it smells good in here. Skincare, perfumes. Oh, and they have a sample sink so you can test them. All kinds of different stuff. So I'm gonna call this skincare body care. But this is an overview of Luxtan. Oh, I like this chair though. Look at that thing. Wow, that's very nice. Oh, is it all about lavender? 
They definitely have a lot of references to lavender in this store. Oh, water fountains. Look at that. Perfect. They have a photo booth in here where you can visit the province. And it looks like you're like out in the French countryside. What do you guys think? Do I look like I'm in France? Uh, ha uh, ha uh, Oui, bonjour. Once again with a little bit of wayfinding, here's L'Occitane. Over there, Edward Biner. Over here, Pandora and Sprinkles. And if we continued down this way, Uniqlo would be on our left and Under Armour would be on our right. There is actually an empty store right here next to L'Occitane. It used to be a shoe store where they sold like Air Jordans, but they, they closed. They are not here anymore. So now it says something new is coming but it's an empty storefront. Back at L'Occitane, and what we're gonna do is we are gonna turn and face in the other direction, because right across from it is a restaurant called Frontera Cocina, and this is Rick Bayless's, the uh, celebrity chef, Rick Bayless. This is his restaurant. Look, there he is, Rick Bayless. They have a menu out here, and I feel like this menu is a little bit abbreviated. I thought maybe they had a lot more to offer, than just these few items. Let's have a look inside. Here's a look around at Frontera Cocina with their haunted lamps, haunted chandelier. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Tim, we've already been to Sprinkles. You were at Frontera Cocina. The whole reason I came back over here to Sprinkles is because on the back side of Frontera, there is an express window where you can walk up and order some of the food off the menu at an express window right here and then you can sit here and look out on the beauty of the springs and it is beautiful out here I just talked to some people that are eating this food and they said that it's actually way better than inside and much cheaper than inside now back at the front of Frontera and we are turning to our left this large building in the center here is actually just guest services so if you have any questions, it's called the Welcome Center, or you get lost or you can't find your way to somewhere, just stop in and they can help you out. And there's a bunch of rocking chairs around the outside to cool off, get out of the rain, maybe relax, get out of the sun even. Just trying to keep up with the wayfinding because it seems like it might start to get a little bit confusing because there's Frontera. We've got Alex and Ani over here. This is guest relations. And we're turning almost with our back towards Frontera to go to Deluxe Burger. And these guys have got some very delicious hamburgers. So here's a look at the Deluxe menu. I didn't realize they do this duo thing where you get two burgers and one set of french fries and two fountain beverages. Seems like a good deal. They also usually have some sort of specialty burger. That's probably not on this, but you would see it on the inside menu. Here's a quick look inside of Deluxe Burger. See if they have the specialty burger up there. Mm, I don't see it right now, but that, man, those pictures of those burgers look good. Also, they have some delicious, delicious shakes. So as we make our way around Deluxe Burger, we're heading towards another one of our favorite restaurants, and that is Blaze Pizza. This is the backside of Deluxe, and if we turn around past this line here, this is Blaze Pizza, fast-fired pizza. So it's like the subway of pizzas, where you order your pizza and you ask them to put all the different toppings on it, and then they quick cook it, and then you eat it. So it's very fast and very convenient, and actually very reasonably priced. So here's a quick look at the menu. Here's a quick overview inside of Blaze, and you can see they are making the pizzas fresh. We cook them inside this big oven over here, and this is a line of people making their pizzas, telling everybody what they want on their pizzas, right before handing them off over here, and they throw them in the oven. And right next to Blaze, as you guys know, there's a bridge. So that leads into another district. So we are turning around and heading back in this direction. As we're making our way away from Blaze, there are some bathrooms here, an Orange County Sheriff's Office location, and then a Disney Ticket Center. And this Disney Ticket Center is pretty new. Uh, it's where you can come and you can buy tickets or ask any questions about tickets that you have. We are reaching the end of it from the Ticket Center 
I believe our last store on this tour is Zara. Let's have a look inside and see what Zara is all about. Holy cow, this is a gigantic store. Looks like they've got a lot of stuff. Okay, so we got women's all on the first floor, and then the second floor is gonna be men and kids. So let's head up to the second floor and see what they've got up there. I'm heading up an escalator, but the down escalator is not working right now. How do I get back down? I'm gonna be stuck up here. It's a trap. Just as the sign said, men's is up here as well as the kids section. Well, there's a baby section too. How would you describe the style that is available here in Zara? I feel like, go ahead and leave me a bunch of comments down below and tell me if you would describe a store differently than I did or if you know exactly how to describe a store, please leave me a comment down below. From Zara, we are making our way back in this direction and I believe that was it because we are back here at Kate Spade, Johnny Waz, Free People and right around the corner here that's it, still Zara, and the next shop is Ugg. So we did it, we showed off everything in the town center district of Disney Springs. So there you have it, that was our trip to Disney Springs for an exhaustive, very detailed tour of the town center area of Disney Springs. So that brings us to half of Disney Springs being covered. Next up we have the marketplace and the landing. So let me know in the comments down below if you like this style of video if it's too long for you if i should have split it up into two parts or if you want the next two videos just to be like this one where it's go into every store show what each store is give me some suggestions what do you guys think all in all disney springs has a lot of stuff a lot of stuff so with that being said we are off we'll see you guys tomorrow i'm brandon and i'm brooke and we're, we're from, from atlanta, atlanta georgia, georgia and now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the price, price.